1905 and on the shores of George Sound, history is created with the release of Wapiti into Fiordland. In the decades to follow, the Wapiti and Fiordland's terrain will combine to create a legend that will define a generation of hunters and inspire others for centuries to come. The hunter is within all of us. The call is in our DNA. To hunt is to live. It transcends the kill, it's about the stalk, the terrain, leaving civilization behind and being totally at one with your surroundings, being able to hear your own heartbeat. It's the respect for all animals and the remorse you feel for killing one, but also the joy when you choose not to. Hunting is an ancestral human instinct that stems purely from a raw need to survive. The call of the hunter is suppressed by some people. Some hear it and choose not to follow it, but some embrace it. For those of us that truly hear that call, it always comes from a place. To me, that place is Fiordland. What I love about the challenge of hunting Fiordland is that anyone can try it. It doesn't matter where you've hunted before or how much money you've got, once you're dropped off at the high tide mark, by law, it's all on foot. So you carry what you need to survive and that makes everybody equal. Sure, gear and equipment's come a long way in recent years, but it won't get you a bull and it definitely won't get you through that bush and up those mountains. In 2012, the weather, the bush and those mountains are exactly the same challenge for us as they were for those first hunters over 100 years ago. Yeah.